example, Hong Kong police have recently been accused of using excessive force. Tell us how do you think they're handling the situation and how does the local police response compare to that of other countries internationally? Well, the police have shown, in my view, great, uh, great restraint in the way in which they've responded uh, to the offences which have been committed against them. I mean, in very basic terms, what happens is that the uh, rioters go out time after time, they attack police stations, they confront the police officers, sometimes by using baseball bats, attacking them with bricks, uh, metal rods, and even on occasion throwing petrol bombs uh, at them. The police uh, generally uh, take action only when it's absolutely necessary. They, uh, they put up signs before they mobilize, uh, urging the, uh, the rioters to disperse. Uh, and only when those signs are ignored do they finally uh, take action. So it's a matter of the, the rioters trying to provoke the police, and then eventually the police have to take action in order to try to control the situation. And of course, the rioters and their apologists want to do, represent everything that the police do in the worst possible light uh, in order to try and undermine the uh, law, and order, uh, law and order in Hong Kong. And we've seen just this last few days how they've placed advertisements in 13 newspapers uh, in uh, uh, 10 countries around the world uh, trying to undermine the high, the high reputation uh, of the police force in foreign eyes. So this is a deliberate campaign which is going on to un undermine the police force, which is a great pity. When one looks, for example, at uh, other jurisdictions, one can see that the level of force which the police use uh, is, far, is far less. I mean, one only has to look uh, at France, where the uh, Yellow Vest movement uh, is currently underway and has been going on for, for, uh, for several months. That has involved a lot of rioting, not only in Paris, uh, but around the country. Uh, and the police have used a great deal of force uh, in trying to contain it. They've used water cannons, they've used uh, stun grenades, they've used plastic bullets, they've used tear gas. Uh, and a lot of people have been injured. They, it's estimated that over 2,200 people uh, have been injured. Uh, and that, according to the Yellow Vest themselves, uh, 24 of the Yellow Vest protesters uh, have actually lost eyes. So it's a far greater degree uh, of, uh, of, of force being used over there. And yet very little coverage is given to it. In the United Kingdom, for example, which of course is only 29 miles away from France, uh, I'm told that there's almost no mention of what's going on in, in the nearby, in the, in the, in the neighboring country, whereas there's almost wall-to-wall -wall coverage of what's going on in Hong Kong, even though the level of force uh, is far less, and you can draw your own conclusions as to why that is. But certainly overall, the, the police here are, are doing a superb job. Many of these are young officers who haven't had to confront these type of brutal attacks before. Uh, they're putting their lives on the line for us day in, day out. Uh, and we must all owe them uh, and acknowledge uh, the great uh, debt, debt of gratitude which we must all feel.